hello everyone welcome to another video this one is going to be different uh, we are planning to do a 360 degree video and uh, this one we will answer a few of the questions that you have asked in the comment so I have with me my beautiful wife Jyoti and uh, she will she's a big part of this project as well uh, so I would love if she also answers few questions so the first question is what is the budget of the project I think I'll take this one um, there's no fixed budget for this project the reason being uh, I have never built such a uh, huge property or I haven't even thought that I would so I actually do not know what it would cost to be make such thing that's one reason the second reason is I first wanted to move here very quickly so I built a tiny house now that I'm living in the tiny house we are going ahead and doing other changes to the property that the land actually requires from us you know there is no set I'm not I, I can say it like this that we are not changing the design of the place uh, instead we are changing our plans to fit the place so that's why there's no budget uh, what are the type of materials we have used mm, you can also say uh, for the tiny house we mostly used uh, metal and for metal we went with the brand called uh, APL uh, it's a full coil uh, company I am also a shareholder so <laughs> I would love to uh, help the company that uh, I have invested in so that's for the metal for the uh, uh, sheets we have used uh, bison panel it's from a company called NCL which is based out of Andhra Pradesh I guess so that's second uh, for the cement we used uh, Birla Super it's from Aditya Birla group uh, there is another Birla A1 which looks it comes in the yellow bag it is not from Aditya Birla group and uh, uh, that is grade 43 the yellow one and uh, birla super is actually grade uh, 53 which is much better to construct with uh, for the bricks uh, we sourced it local here uh, the red bricks which are made out of mud uh, but mostly we used uh, cement bricks because we thought it was more stronger but now i have uh, changed opinion regarding uh, which is better because i think uh, mud bricks are always better how are you managing kalakar and this construction ma'am <laughs> okay so it's it was That's actually it was actually difficult uh, you know to begin with uh, managing both the things but what we decided was uh, see we cannot stop our work so with kalakar what we did was we started informing our customers that we will take the orders and uh, like earlier we used to take two three days now we informed them that they, we have another project going on so maybe from two three days we asked them for some more uh, uh, you know number of hours or days and they agreed to us uh, because we have really very good customers and they really believe in us so that's how we try to manage kalakar work also and uh, we did not lose any job to be very honest um, parallel to this because uh, it was really hectic coming here in uh, you know like early mornings and then going back home uh, uh, around 9 30 10 cooking then Raj has his own work so and then managing the whole construction we just thought that everybody has 24 hours when we need to accommodate our work within that we listed all the work because material procurement for this particular site was also not a very easy task we had to find three four uh, uh, vendors, contractors, talk to them, negotiate them because any time of course uh, if you see we have taken the best of the best brands here whether it is cement, whether it is metal, whether it is bison panel so uh, while we are looking for the best of the best brand we need to negotiate also hard because the money is always a big uh, part because we had to spend so much of yeah. time uh, with the property we uh, did tell our clients to give us more time in doing the projects and that helped us a really lot um, the next question is do you sell any merchandise uh, yes and no yes because you can actually buy this t-shirt that we were both wearing uh, by deeming us on Instagram or uh, you can check our online site also uh, the second thing is we do not sell merchandise 
uh, extensively but we do have our own products on amazon and on our uh, kalakar.in slash marketplace so you can go ahead uh, buy a few products it's mostly diy products that you can use to customize it yourself that would uh, actually help us um, being funded so that we can make more such videos so looking forward to that the next one is what natural friendly amenities have you integrated i think she will answer that <clears throat> so if you really see uh, i mean i would just give a little background when we came to this place i mean i'm really uh, i'm aware that you have seen in the previous videos that it was like very very slopy area uh, there were a lot of trees and etc people used to come and tell us that uh, why don't you cut this tree and that tree but uh, you know we as raj mentioned we did never wanted to uh, kind of go away from the nature because that's what we want that we should be you know surrounded with nature so we did not cut even a single tree so when we're talking about nature friendly thing if you come to our property if you see our property on the videos we have on our uh, website on our sorry on our youtube channel all the sagwan trees all the jamun trees uh, there is a fruit called karwand here <laughs> we have really really not cut any one of them and now that makes our property look much better um, plus every apart day from that, apart from that uh, we are planting more vegetables yes uh, ex expanding our gardens i'm not going ahead and filling it up because i want to explore more i want to see what's available uh, what are the different things that i can put uh, coming to the facilities um, i would say that uh, le first let's talk about the septic tanks um, the septic tank that we built are bio septic tanks which means that they have three compartments uh, the, so the the black water and uh, the solids stay in the main container it fills up the water uh, overflows to the second container and from there it fills up and it flows to the third container uh, by doing this and introducing some uh, bacteria into it we are able to convert uh, the gray water into kind of good water which we can use to plant the garden uh, sorry water the garden and wash the vehicles also so that's with the septic tank um, we did we have done rainwater harvesting uh, it's a 10000 square feet property but still i have run pipelines uh, under the ground everywhere so that i will be able to uh, tap into the rainwater and put it directly into the bore so that's uh, another one yeah. we do have uh, solar panel we are not totally off grid right now uh, we already have 2 kilowatts worth of solar panels uh, that is plenty sufficient because there is a lot of power cuts here and we are still able to manage it uh, without you know uh, ever going loss of power but I want to uh, go ahead and do, be totally off grid but for that I need to know what my power consumptions are uh, and because this is an evolving property there are more lights and more uh, consumable electronics coming in uh, so as it grows i will know if i have to stop at three kilowatt or maybe even five kilowatt i don't know so those are the few things that we have done <coughs> solar water heater oh yeah <laughs> we do have a solar water heater it's a 200 liter capacity now we don't have to ever uh, uh, use more electricity to make hot water and That's uh, there. yeah just one more thing i would like to add that uh, when we used to go outside to buy material and all um, i was always in the hurry part like let's go let's go we have bought this but raj uh, i mean later i also so we both ensure that whenever we are going for shopping anything let's get something from the nursery because it was not really really possible to take out time while all this work is going on separately go to nursery so if you uh, when we give you a tour of the place uh, whatever plants whatever trees we have uh, uh, you know planted they were all part of this uh, you know small small shoppings that we went for so one time you do not have to really take out your time and money as well so slowly and uh, slowly slowly we built up that for the nature yeah that way uh, it's light on your pocket as well yes <laughs> so the next one is from where did you get the manpower to do this work uh, again i think she will answer that uh, 
okay so when we talk about manpower as you know that we have a team uh, and the team is self sufficient to do lot of work in terms of uh, metal uh, wood um, uh, you know all kinds of installations so if you really see our property uh, we the whole team of kalakar was involved as far as uh, <clears throat> as far as uh, the metal work and the wood working and the whole house construction was uh, uh, you know uh, was uh, was for we uh, were uh, i think we uh, it was necessary for us to pick up manpower only to do the yes. civil work and really hard labor like digging and um moving the soil uh, stuff like that we had to take the help of uh, people uh, we call it as fata here uh, mm -hmm. where in the roads they stand uh, and uh, look for job early in the morning so we go there and we pick up people there later the people we used to pick up like narayan uh, who you have seen in the previous videos he actually uh, started working with us now uh, he almost comes every day he still not a full time mer uh, right now yeah. but um, so for the civil work for the cement work we hired people from outside we did not involve any contractors because that's a huge pain uh, as many of you must have experienced one but is pay and the other thing is that the team was sufficient to do not, the work not pay pain pain <laughs> pain pain, pain. Oh, oh, okay. because Sorry. they charge a lot <laughs> and they do not listen to us they don't work with our timelines <laughs> so we d we really did not enjoy that Uh, so here they call them mistri who does all the cement work the main person who's in charge of uh, actually anybody who knows the skill is called as a mistri yeah. even if it's a carpenter it's a mistri even <laughs> if it is a uh, person who works with cement is called as a mistri mistri is just like the title that they give to the person who knows work here uh sources of water electricity and drainage uh electricity we do have electricity here uh, from the gram panchayat uh so that's working out great water we did dig a bore if you haven't seen that video it's listed in the playlist it's in the description please do check that out uh bore is not working fine uh the reason being uh electricity i would say we are getting a really low voltage we need to get somewhere around 230 volts but right now we are getting somewhere around uh, 199 just 200 but when we push the motor uh, starter for the motor it goes down all the way to 150 140 so we invested in a stabilizer to correct this but the stabilizer also is able to correct powers up to 140 only but we are going below that so the uh, motor is really not kicking in to bring any uh, water out so we built a 20000 liter water tank so that lorries can come and dump it so each lorry can bring in 10000 liters so right now we have a capacity of 20000 liters which means at a time two lorries can come and dump water so that's our source of water drainage we also already told you that we have uh, two septic tanks both of them are bioseptic tanks by the way are you guys enjoying the 360 degree video <laughs> we are in such a beautiful place i never thought i will be in I I didn't even know that you know this is how villages look and or this is where the uh, rice grows and the vegetable grows this is a field that is actually waiting for the rains to come uh, I hope it will be here another 15 uh, days 15 yeah, days yeah 6 june is what is expected every year rains in maharashtra so uh, so after that I think uh, they will start sowing uh, rice, rice over and, here yeah. And guys, this is not very far from Pune. If you really see, we are like how uh, many kilometers around? Twelve, fifteen kilometers. So, getting a village, uh, getting to see a village like this, so green and still that village feeling, and still you are not really out of touch of the city. I mean, we never really thought that it would be uh, so close, but yes, we found one. <laughs> uh, so the next question is: constructing a house consists of a lot of. consists of a lot of aspects how did you learn all of these um we didn't learn anything we learned by mistakes that's the shortest answer that we i can give uh and of course youtube uh and 
and mainly the go getter attitude that uh, jo bhi hota hai dekh lete hain kuch bhi kya zyada se zyada kya galti ho sakta hai so that's the attitude that we went ahead with to uh, get this done i know i messed up a lot <coughs> uh, when i say messed up a lot that uh, there are certain walls which are you know are not uh, uh, horizontal perfectly it's at it's at one or two degrees down uh, our main hall if you see it's in a slopy uh, way uh, but the room at the top is perfect because the room at the bottom is what we built first and the room at the top is what we built second um, uh, so we we learned from our mistakes so uh, like that um, even while doing uh, construction like the civil work uh, what we thought was we wanted something earlier then we had to demolish that and do it, redo it so <coughs> so it was more of rework 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 yeah. rework rework um, of course money lost but everything happens like that right uh, if you're learning to uh, drive a cycle you're going to fall if you uh, nothing works out in the first go and mostly people expect that only that humko zindagi mein ek hi bar ghar banane wale hain to usme kuch galtiyan nahi hona hai to experts ke paas de do are kyu yaar why why you should do that uh, for what else are we living uh if you cannot build your own home uh i mean not everybody has the resources that i have uh, but i feel that i have steered my life yes. uh in that direction and now i'm able to pick up things it's like you know a bulldozer going through the line so it's it's able to pick up things uh, whatever it can do that's that's what i have been doing I didn't have to start kalakar I didn't have to do a lot of things but I did that and that has helped me in this so it's all about what you want really in life if you want to sit back and enjoy and give money to the contractor yes good uh, or if you want to break your back and learn something it's good uh, now I am I can proudly say that we can share this knowledge with our kids and all this documentation that we are doing we can uh, pass it down the generation and it's hosted somewhere that people can see and learn from our mistakes so all our mistakes are worth while and i guess such, uh, many people like us you know must be thinking that oh how can we build our homes we also want to do it but we don't know how to start where to start and all but maybe these videos that you know these documentations that you're uploading on youtube and you know uh, keeping it for the future they will all have a big help like we also got a big help from youtube like you know seeing lot of videos from youtube and yeah, then learning it, i so, would say more than the technical help from youtube i would say that it's like if he can do it i can also do yes. it that's the biggest uh, L- learning that yeah. we saw if that couple can do it if that family can do it if this old person can do it like we saw hundreds of tiny house videos and <laughs> we got the inspiration that okay people are doing in this world so we can also do it so i guess we are also uh, i would say an inspiration for the people who want to do something like this right maybe, maybe hopefully <laughs> in the future <laughs> but guys it's it's worth trying it's worth trying yeah. if you really have time you have no you can make time if you, you really have, have time is not yes. the you should make time for you all this you should make time correct uh will you open this place for guests later of course yes <laughs> that is why we are building so many different uh, structures um we have two bathrooms uh, we have one outdoor we are going to have a swimming pool we will have an outdoor uh, kitchen we will have a bar and uh, um a restaurant kind of a thing we will definitely have a tree house uh, uh, which can accommodate a family of four uh we do have a music and study area and for guests who come in we will be able to serve some good fresh home cooked food right from our garden that's my <laughs> main aim we have uh right now we have brinjals coming in next i have put uh yeah green chilies also bindi ko kya bolte hain okra or yeah lady's finger lady's finger uh we have we have planted that um so when that comes in then we will have two vegetables like that i'll keep on increasing uh, by the time we open it up for guests i think uh, we will uh, we do have palaks also 
all the greens come from our garden so when, by the time it opens up there will be almost everything that is coming from our yes. garden so and everything organic we are not using any fertilizer no it's just the uh, <coughs> cow dung and uh, vermicompost yeah. right yeah yeah so if you come here you stay with us you get to eat the green and complete organic uh, <coughs> Food. food I would say yeah and of course uh, take a dip in the swimming pool have some party enjoy music stuff like that uh, so how did you manage permissions to begin build your home that's the final question this is a big question as well uh, so here uh, we were able to begin work after we got our uh, Satbara how to get Satbara and how to buy land in Maharashtra I have a separate video that's almost the first video in the series that we uploaded so you can take a look at that uh, for the permissions to build uh, right now uh, because this is a tiny house and we are not crossing any FSI limit um, the the square feet of the plot is 10,000 square feet but we built only three, three uh, sorry 240, uh, 240 square, square feet, feet which is like a fraction of the total uh, land so we have not acquired any permissions right now but we have registered our home with the Gram Panchayat and we have started paying taxes uh, for our home uh, now we will be getting uh, a water connection yes. from the villages as well uh, from the village Gram Panchayat but very recently we got to know that we have to get uh, 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 building permission from PMRD also so we're going to submit the plans to Pune PMRD what do you Pune, Pune Metro, 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 Metro uh, oh God. Metro and Regional Development Regional Authority, Development Authority, yeah. Authority. So okay. to them we will be submitting the plans um, but I think it will get passed uh, relatively easy because <laughs> we do have water uh, we do have bioseptic tank we do have rainwater harvesting we do have solar panels and our FSI does not cross uh, the prescribed limit so we have to do it at, uh, to with PMRDA not with PMC because this particular area where we are right now falls under PMRDA uh, uh, you know development plan that's the reason otherwise you know based upon city where we are we have to get the permission the so yes. uh, just to summarize building permission from PMRDA and tax payment to the village panchayat those the second thing is done the first thing is yet to be done and with that I think we will close this wonderful journey this is our first experience uh, showing you where we are actually living in please do uh, comment uh, in the comment down below letting us know if you really love it and I hope to see you in the next video I'm sorry if this became long but these were the questions that people asked and we wanted to uh, yeah. answer them. Right. Thank you so much uh, for coming with me, Jyoti. I know that you do not enjoy long walks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but today the weather is really cloudy and it's like it was like worth uh, walking down. To be very honest, guys, we ha I have not come till here. Uh, Raj has a couple of times because he loves to drive the tractor and go here and there and all that stuff. I am most of the time at home. but. I was just thinking while I was walking here that I have missed something you know, from past so many months that I haven't walked down here. But today's weather is really really good to walk down so it was kind of alright, no problem. <laughs> so thank you so much, thank you so much and I have to see you in the next video. There is a, a video that we put on every Friday and if you miss them it's fine. There is a playlist, please go ahead and check that out. I am Raj and thank you for tuning in. And I am Jyoti, thank you guys, thank you for tuning in. Bye bye. Bye.